the paper wedding gown. That person things relationships are growing more and more temporary may be illustrated by examining the culture surrounding the little girl who trades in her doll. This child soon learns that Barbie dolls are by no means the only physical objects that pass into and out of her young life rapidly. Nappies, bibs, paper napkins, Kleenex, towels, non-returnable pop bottles, all are used up quickly in her home and ruthlessly eliminated. Corn muffins come in baking tins that are thrown away after one use. Spinach is encased in plastic sacks that can be dropped into a pan of boiling water for heating and then thrown away. TV dinners are cooked and often ser served on throwaway trays. Her home is a large processing machine through which objects flow, entering and leaving at a faster and faster rate of speed. From birth on, she is inextricably linked, embedded in a throwaway culture. The idea of using a product once or for a brief period and then replacing it runs counter to the grain of societies or individuals steeped in a heritage of poverty. Not long ago, Uriel Rhone, a market researcher for the French advertising agency Publici, told me, The French housewife is not used to disposable products. She likes to keep things, even old things, rather than throw them away. We represented one company that wanted to introduce a kind of plastic throwaway curtain. We did a marketing study for them and found the resistance too strong. This resistance, however, is dying all over the developed world. Thus, a writer, Edward Mays, has pointed out that many Americans visiting Sweden in the early 1950s were astounded by its cleanliness. We were almost awed by the fact that there were no beer and soft drink bottles by the roadsides, as much to our shame there were in America. But by the 1960s, lo and behold, bottles were suddenly blooming along Swedish highways. What happened? Sweden had become a buy and throw away society. Following the American pattern. In Japan today, throwaway tissues are, no, are so universal that cloth handkerchiefs are regarded as old-fashioned, not to say unsanitary. And even in France, disposable cigarette lighters are commonplace. From cardboard milk containers to the rockets that power space vehicles, products created for short-term or one-time use are becoming more numerous and crucial to our way of life. The recent introduction of paper and quasi-paper clothing carried the trend towards disposability a step further. Fashionable boutiques and working-class clothing stores have sprouted whole departments devoted to gaily coloured and imaginatively designed paper apparel. Fashion magazines display breathtakingly sumptuous gowns, coats, pyjamas, even wedding dresses made of paper. The bride pictured in one of these wears a long white train of lace-like paper that the caption writer notes will make great kitchen curtains after the ceremony. Paper clothes are particularly suitable for children, writes one fashion expert. Little children will soon be able to spill ice cream, draw pictures and make cutouts on their clothes while their mothers smile benignly at their creativity. And for adults who want to express, express their own creativity, there is even a paint-yourself dress, complete with brushes, price $2. Price, of course, is a critical factor behind the paper explosion. Thus, a department store features simple A-line dresses made of what it, what it calls devil-may-care cellulose fibre and nylon. At $1.29 each, it is almost cheaper for the consumer to buy and discard a new one than to send an ordinary dress to the cleaners. Soon it will be. But more than economics is involved, for the extension of the throwaway culture has important psychological consequences. We develop a throwaway mentality to match our throwaway products. This mentality produces, among other things, a set of radically altered values with respect to property. But the spread of disposability through the society also implies decreased duration in man-thing relationships. 
instead of being linked with a single object over a relatively long span of time, we are linked for brief periods with the succession of objects that supplant it.